Welcome to this training on understanding the importance of school policies. My name is Anisha and I work at the Future of Privacy Forum, where I focus on youth and education privacy. The objectives of this presentation are to help you consider the importance of policies that protect student privacy and explore why these policies are needed and when they should be consulted. Before downloading a new EdTech product or engaging with students online, you should check if your school or district has any EdTech or social media policies in place. If you can't find anything, reach out to an administrator and see if there are any policies you should be aware of. It's important to know these policies because they are often based on legal requirements or exemplify best practices, and they ensure what you're doing is in line with the larger school ecosystem. Though every school may not have the resources for robust ed tech or social media policies, so long as you're aware of the considerations and best practices in this arena, you're well on your way to ensuring your use of tech and social media is privacy protective. Most schools and districts have data governance policies, but what is a data governance policy? A data governance policy governs how and when data can be collected, accessed, shared, and deleted, protecting the privacy of the data. They may or may not include policies that specifically apply to educators, but they do tend to have useful information that you may want to know. When should a teacher consult these policies? Annually to review the policies and discover if there are any changes, refresh your understanding, and understand how to care for your students' data appropriately. You should consult them if someone asks for information about one of your students and before using tech in the classroom. Basically, data governance policies help school administration ensure student data is protected. To learn more about the context of data governance policies, the embedded video is linked in the description below and will also be included in the training playlist. What do you need to know about EdTech adoption and vetting policies? Your district may have an existing policy or process for you to follow before introducing a new app or platform to your classroom. These policies and processes ensure that the tool is aligned with student privacy laws, has sufficient privacy protections, is secure for classroom use, and has the proper contract in place. When should you consult these policies? You should consult this policy before adopting a new platform or app in your classroom and before engaging with a district approved platform. Now consider whether your district has a social media policy. Your district may have an existing policy or process for you to follow that guides how you use social media personally and professionally and how you can have students engage on social media in your classroom. You should consult this policy when considering assigning schoolwork involving social media and before connecting or interacting with students or parents on your personal or professional social media. You may want to turn to social media to interact with your students, perhaps to develop quizzes or assign projects. But in other circumstances, it could be that students or parents are reaching out to your personal social media accounts. With these interactions come plenty of considerations. To make sure that you're, what you're doing is in line with your school or district rules, look into whether you have a social media policy in place. If there isn't one, there are several resources that outline best practices, including Connect Safely's Educator's Guide to Social Media, which will be linked below and also in this slide deck. Also take a look at our blog, Social Media Distancing, Online Learning During a Pandemic, which covers issues about social media while learning remotely. So generally, here are some best practices that you can take away from this discussion. You should understand how your school's policies apply to your role. And you should know who to go to if you have questions and ask those questions. And you should also have talking points ready for if and when parents or students ask questions about these policies. This will help you build trust that you and the school district have your students' best interests in mind. Educators typically serve as a gateway between parents and administration, and it makes it essential for them to understand commonly asked questions as well as know how to respond to them. For example, if parents ask how technology is vetted for privacy protections, you're able to refer them to your school or district EdTech adoption process if you know this policy. And you can consider explaining how the process works when you request an app to be approved so that you can reassure the parent about how their child's privacy is being considered and protected. And if a student asks why you didn't accept their friend request, discuss how your school has a social media policy in place that guides these interactions. Now we're going to take five minutes to do an activity. Consider these three questions. 
What student privacy policies, or even policies related to student privacy, like social media policies, does your school or district have? Now, are those policies posted online or only accessible to school staff? And what policies do you think are missing based on today's discussion? You can pause the video here to consider these three questions. Now, after you've looked at these policies, have they been adapted for remote online learning? And if not, what changes do you think need to be made? Take a minute to reflect on this question. Thank you for tuning in.